Planet Dolan. From why snails die if they touch salt to the cause of nightmares, we answer some of your most boning questions about life. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988, coming at you live once again through the power of the internet, and today I'll be the one reading out the questions and the answers. I'm Danger Dolan, and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. RBLX Noob Dev 8000 asks, Who made the first car? This one guy called Mr. Petroleum invented petrol, but he had nothing to put it in. He put it in his socks, he fed it to his cat, he even suggested kids replace the milk in their cereal with delicious petrol, but nothing worked. So one day he was messing around with some Lego blocks and he accidentally invented a car. And, well, that worked out nicely. Carl Benz from Germany made the first ever car. It ran on petroleum gasoline just like today's cars, but it only had three wheels, had no roof, and you steered with a lever instead of a wheel. Jake Reloc asks, How come people sneeze? Every time you breathe in something smelly, you collect tiny pieces of poop that slowly grew in your nose. Eventually, your body pushes it into your bowels and out your butt. When you sneeze, you're just getting rid of the bits that got stuck in your nose hairs. When your nose lining collects some irritating bits in the air like germs or pollen, the brain sends a signal to get rid of it, causing a deep breath that increases the pressure in your lungs, and then the body quickly pushes the air out through your nose. Ha 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 Oh, hey, someone dropped some chocolate on the grip. <laughs> James Smith asks, why do snails die if they touch salt? Everyone knows that snails only eat leaves. This is because they're really picky eaters. They hate chocolate and pizza. And most of all, they hate salt. And if you put some anywhere near them, they froth with rage and die of anger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put those salty crisps. Back in the bag! I, I, I'm calling the police. Hello, officer. This dude has a bag of salty chips. He threatened my snail. Should I take him out? Okay. He said no. The salt quickly reacts with the water in the snail's body, causing it to dry out. So the snail creates a mucus which will protect it if there's only a small amount of salt, but if there isn't, then the snail will dry out until it dies of dehydration. Lloyd Pagdalugan asks, What was the first ever animal? Well, since the Earth used to have loads of volcanoes, the first ever animal was actually a lava monster that might look scary at first, but it was actually a huge nerd. It was also a little cutie and would melt the heart of any girl that walked in a small radius near it. We used to think that the first ever animal was the simple sea sponge, but it was actually the comb jellyfish. It actually shocked scientists to learn that such a primitive life form ever had its own nervous system. If there are sponges in the sea, how come it still has water? Hey Dolan, you're a sponge. Psh, I might need some time to absorb that comment. Daniel Parker asks, why does sticking a fork in a toaster electrocute you? Because it isn't bread, dummy. This is a general rule of life. If you pour juice in your sock, it will electrocute you too. Because you're doing something wrong. Same with putting cheese in your car instead of petrol. And trust me, you don't want to know what happens if you put a fork in a hairdryer. When you turn on a toaster, it runs electricity through the metal in order to create heat. If you touch the prongs with something that conducts electricity, you're given it a chance to send a shock up the fork and into your body. Dolan, no, no! Ah, oh, it's fine. I'm testing something. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, it kills me. That's all right. Derp. Seagirl12 asks, Why does it take so long to reach other planets? Well, there's no gravity in space. Everyone moves really slowly like the astronauts on the moon. It takes a lot of rocket power to move even one inch an hour. If we can move normally, it would only take a couple of minutes to reach Jupiter. It's a good thing we have a wormhole that goes straight to planet Dolan, though. The simple answer is that they're just really far away. Without the friction of the atmosphere and the gravity of the Earth, rockets can only move about 280 times faster than a car. But the closest planet, Venus, is still 25 million miles away. What are earthquakes called on Mars? You might think they're called Mars quakes, but in actual fact, they're called galaxy quakes because the quakes on Mars are so strong they send shockwaves throughout the Milky Way. 
Luckily for us, they're very rare. Last time one of them happened, all the dinosaurs went extinct. When you say earthquake, you're not using the name of the planet, you're just referring to the dirt, which is also called Earth. So an earthquake on Mars or any other planet is still just called an earthquake. Oh yeah? Then what wiped out the dinosaurs? An asteroid. Well, that's what they get for being on the roids, dude. Samantha Nice Swinger asks, what causes nightmares? Nightmares are named after the scary horse creatures that fly around at night. And when you're sleeping, they come into your room and gently stroke your face, which causes a bad dream because it's real creepy, like uncomfortable. They gently neigh in your ear and it's like, I just don't want anything to do with this. Please stop. Lots of things can cause nightmares. The main causes are mental illnesses or having a stressful day, but they can also be caused by not eating properly and having sleep disorders. I often have a nightmare that my character Francis is the real one, and, and I'm, I'm make-believe. I'm the real one, Boogie, and I'm coming to get you, you son of a b You know, I never have nightmares. Well, this x-ray makes it hard for me to believe you can have nightmares when you don't even have a brain. No, you're a sponge! The Squeak Squad asks, who invented the first movie? William Shakespeare's brother, Hollywood Shakespeare, made the first ever movie, but everyone back then preferred stage plays because they were much more posh back in the Dark Ages, so he was quickly forgotten. Edward Moobridge created the first ever movie in order to prove that a horse could indeed gallop with all four legs off the ground at once, but that wasn't really a proper movie. That honor goes to Louis Lemire, who made a silent documentary about his factory. You're forgetting Hollywood. Why does everyone forget him? Dude, you made him up? Yeah? Well, did I make up this? Are you absolutely sure that I'm the sponge? Hey, baby, I'm the sponge, baby. Ultimate Cartoon wants to know, why aren't there hover cars? You know Mr. Petroleum from earlier? He doesn't like that hover cars run on energy waves and not petrol. You can't put energy waves in a nozzle and sell it. You can't put Einstein's equations in a jar and make money from that. Also, there are pterodactyls in the air and that is just scary. We've actually tried and succeeded in making flying cars, but it turns out there's no good way to cross a car with an airplane. Not only that, but it takes too much fuel for it to be affordable for most people. That's just what they told you. But as I said, I'm smarter up and I have a hover car. Oh, if you're so smart, what's 10 times 2? 8 billion, 2 million, 100,004. Obviously. Ugh. Huge shout out to Boogie2988 for his guest appearance on this episode of Super Planet Dolan. Go check out his channel, it's linked down below. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good cool one!